Welcome back. The Sports Authority of Goa has committed to put up a roof over the stands at Tilak Stadium in Vasco. This comes after Prudent had highlighted the plight of football lovers braving the rains to watch the action. Soon, the people of Vasco will have protection from the rains as the SAG prepare the estimate for the new structure. This is a prudent impact. On September 18th, Prudent had focused on the problems the fans face coming to watch matches at Tilak Stadium. When the Goa Football Association makes a lot of effort to bring people in for the matches, clearly the biggest deterrents come in the form of poor infrastructure. Basic facilities like a roof is a miss over here. On September 21st, GFA President Srinivas Dempo took cognizance of the Prudent report and promised to take up the issue in their executive committee meeting and with the SAG. The discussion has successfully taken place. SAG Executive Director VM Prabhu Desai has exclusively revealed to Prudent that the roof will be in place in a year's time. We have received their proposal and in fact our engineers are busy preparing estimates for the roofing system at uh, Tilak Maidan. So I think that will also happen. Okay. The moment these estimates are prepared, we will send it for approval. Uh, all this should take at least uh, one year by the time you see the roof. A sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Shan from Panji. Goan cricketers won a lot of hearts on their recent South Africa tour. Veteran fast bowler Robin D'Souza tormented the opposition claiming quite a few wickets while wicketkeeper batsman Rahul Kaney learned to cope with the swinging ball behind the stumps. Ganesh Raj Narvekar further enhanced his skills in the art of leg spin. Prudent caught up with the trio at the Goa Cricket Academy in Porvari to know their experience. For many years now, Robin D'Souza has shared the new ball for Goa. Robin has been highly economical but has failed to pick up as many wickets as he should have. See, I, I just play according to the plan, what my coach wants, what the captain wants and my job is to just to contain. And uh, from the other end, the wicket tends to fall. And uh, yeah, no, I know, in the end, wickets is what matters. But uh, uh, sometimes I, I'm just playing for a team uh, cause at the moment. You know, my job is to contain runs and on the other end, the, the bowler tends to attack like Saurabh or whoever is playing with me. So, yeah, I'm working hard towards getting uh, more wickets this season. Uh, looking forward to getting more wickets this season because I've really worked hard on my fitness. And uh, I'm a far better bowler than what I was uh, in my earlier, uh, where I was just doing everywhere. But I'm more matured now and I, I want to do well for Goa. I want to see the Goan team getting into the elite group this season, this coming season. Since Ajay Ratra does not feature in Goa's scheme of things anymore, Rahul Kenny could start as Goa's wicketkeeper for the first time in his Ranji career. The diminutive batsman was Goa's second highest run getter behind Ajay Ratra in last season's Ranji Trophy. Uh, it was a great experience, actually uh, some different experience according to uh, what uh, we have uh, wickets over here, it was, uh, there it was a bit more bounce. So it was a great experience. Technically you look quite composed as a batsman but what more did you manage to learn when you went to South Africa? Yeah, yeah, I have to play back foot because they more of they bowl just short pitch only. I mean, Indian bowlers just uh, try to bowl in front to more front foot, but they try to bring you back on the back foot. So yeah, that was a difference. <laughs> in uh, test matches, uh, you can always leave the ball. It's uh, not the problem. But in the one days and 2020, you have to play a pull shot or hook shot. You can't just keep on leaving the ball. So in uh, one day or 2020, I tried my shot. In three days, I just uh, leave the ball. <laughs> Ganesh Raj Narvekar is knocking on the doors of the Ranji squad after he put up a string of good performances in Moinut Daula and South Africa. So I think it was a really good experience and uh, we enjoyed it completely because there was a lot to learn from it. Especially as a youngster, looking at the senior boys, how they work, we can learn a lot. So that was quite good. Uh, one of the teams that you played against was coached by Paul Adams. So right. did you get a chance to have a word with him because he was uh, yeah. a very rare looking leg spinner? No, we did actually. We could interact and uh, it was really nice to um, learn so many things because uh, they were very friendly people as well. There was no, um, I wouldn't say there was any bad influences going on between both the teams. So uh, it was really brilliant because as a cricketer, as a youngster at this age, if we can play such a good level of cricket, it helps us a lot. Quicker pitches than after the first right. match, those quicker pitches that you might have bowled on, a right. challenge for you because as a spinner you want yeah. a more roughed up pitch, so anything that you you learned there because those pitches you might not get here in India. Right, the thing over there is uh, you can't really bowl up, 
because uh, it comes onto the bat nicely. So you have to pull your length a bit, short of length. So that is one thing as a spinner we learned that you cannot really bowl on top because um, it comes onto the bat very nicely. So you have to reduce your length, bowl slightly shorter, so make them wait for it. That's one thing we picked up. From Porvoria, sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Shan. With this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media.